There's so much to learn. Yes. In my lifetime, I will never learn as much as I would like to, specifically about this dance. It's really fantastic to see somebody um, transform their movements, whether they're five or 82. So any background, it doesn't discriminate. I started dancing when I was five. Um, just being really shy and introverted, it was really hard to deal with people that I didn't know. And we moved a lot. We were in Southern California and Northern California. Um, it's hard to make friends, but I was consistently in dance class. And it gave me confidence, it gave me uh, a sense of belonging. And I just, it was like going home. And I remember seeing a belly dancer in my late teens and I thought, that's it, that's what I have to do. She just had such a commanding presence. She was so feminine but really strong and the music was intoxicating and I said, that's, that's going to be my new home. I will say when I first started, you know, because I'm so shy, I danced a lot with a dropped chin, with my eyes down. <laughs> It took a long time for me to find that, that lift, that confidence, and to really connect with my audience. And now I live for it. I just, I always say the show is not about me. It's about the experience we create together. So my dance has changed in that I don't feel like I have to prove myself to a group. It's not that I don't want to entertain. It's not that I... I mean, I'm constantly striving to get better, but I don't go out there with an agenda. I don't say, I'm going to make sure I do this move, this move, this move, and then melt to the floor with a candle tray on my head. I can do that, and I do when the occasion calls for it. I'm not working to prove myself in terms of ability. My goal is connecting with the music and creating something that's genuine. I feel like I've done my job if people are with me. There are some really fantastic dancers in Connecticut and they're great people, um, but I do find that the opportunities are limited because it's, it's a smaller state and there's not a thriving dance scene. So the misconceptions, um, I've had a lot of performances that have been canceled when someone gets wind of it and they think, oh, she's going to be too enticing, people are going to complain. I had someone who never even saw me perform say that it was too trashy for this venue and and I say, you know, people speak from a place of, of ignorance or they just don't understand. I think cultures that associate dance as celebration and um, there's sort of a family component to it um, that tends to be where my audiences are. I think, you know, we're just taught to be a certain way and move a certain way and behave a certain way, and even if we don't realize it. So to see a woman shine with confidence at any age, um, it's, it's not only therapeutic for the dancer, but for everybody watching. Everybody comes from their own unique place. A lot of my students are not trained dancers. Um, something has attracted them to whether the music or they saw a Shakira video or something like that. Uh, so sometimes the goal is to just learn their body, which sounds odd. But most people, if you say put your arm out to the side, anything over here is considered side. When you say, you know, put your arm here, it's actually very hard. <laughs> People don't know where their bodies are in space. The, that kind of coordination is not, not a skill that non-dancers are necessarily born with. The goal is to get them to feel comfortable and to just learn their body. And we start there. Um, 
they've come really far actually. I have students that are now performing and teaching and doing wonderful things, so it's cool.